countless ancient civilizations believed in an afterlife. Although there has been no concrete evidence of humans having an afterlife, there has been evidence, however, literally written in the stars. Stars, known as white dwarfs, exhibit traits reminiscent of an afterlife. This is described in a principle of astronomy called the Chandrasekhar limit. But before we get to that, first, we have to examine the forces which act on a star. All stars have a constant gravitational pressure acting on them, striving to collapse them. Stars similar to the sun typically resist this gravitational pressure through thermal pressure, pressure exerted through heat produced by fusion reactions within the star's core. However, white dwarfs can rely on thermal pressure to remain stable, as fusion in stars relies on hydrogen and helium research as a white dwarf is exhausted. Instead, they contract until they become degenerate matter, matter with such a high density that a teaspoon of it would make as much as a truck on Earth. With degenerate matter comes degeneracy pressure. The concept of degeneracy pressure relies on Pauli's exclusion principle. Pauli's exclusion principle states that no two fermions, which includes particles such as electrons and protons, can have the same four quantum numbers. That's similar to saying that these two balls can't be at the exact same place at the exact same time. When degenerate matter is compressed by a gravitational force past a certain point, the force will eventually be trying to push a fermion into having the same four quantum numbers as another fermion. Consequently, there will be a resistive force trying to prevent this from happening, balancing out the gravitational force. Now, let's perform a simple experiment with a water balloon. When we fill this balloon with water, it keeps expanding. However, when we fill it with too much water, it reaches its maximum elasticity point, resulting in it exploding. Now, let's get to the Chandrasekhar limit. It states that the maximum mass of a white dwarf is 1.4 souls, and if a white dwarf has a greater mass, it will compress into a neutron star or even a black hole. But why does this happen? Actually, this is very similar to the water balloon experiment. When the water balloon inside reaches a certain radius, the rubber it is made of cannot handle the mass of water inside anymore and explodes. Similarly, when a white dwarf reaches a mass of 1.4 souls, the gravitational pressure exerted under the star is greater than the electron degeneracy pressure due to the star's mass. This causes the star to collapse, turning into a different celestial body, such as a black hole or a neutron star as mentioned before. Similar to Chandrasekhar's discovery in the early 20th century, scientists have constantly been making new discoveries in the field of science. Chandrasekhar's discovery was just one huge step in an endless journey across the universe.